For MSNBC.com's ongoing coverage of Islam in America, we went to an Islamic school in suburban Chicago to see how it compares to other American schools. So our Islamic schools, you'll have like the math, science, social studies, English, all the regular secular education, academics, the gym classes, the computers. But what's different is that you have some extra classes. Extra classes like studying the Quran, Arabic, and Islamic history. But the moral teachings of Islam infuse every lesson in the school. As the government's becoming more democratic, as the government has more people being involved in the political process, People are seeking to reform those things that they find problematic in society. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news, but in Saudi Arabia, women want to drive now, okay? And nowhere in Islam is this prohibited in the first place. Women should be able to. Sana Sharif is in seventh grade. Sana's parents came to Chicago over 25 years ago from India and Pakistan, and they've raised Sana and her older brothers here. They've embraced American culture, like watching their Chicago Bulls in the playoffs. Their reasons for sending Sana to an Islamic school come down to one word, values. We want to avoid the drinking habits and drug habits and all those uh, social problems. Sana's mom, Ruhi, is a doctor and a lifelong Muslim. She went to Catholic school, though, in her hometown, as it was the best school available. The discipline I learned from Catholic school is no different than discipline, you know, my daughter is learning from the Islamic school, okay? So, um, so those are the most important thing, you know, th those values. I feel like Islamic school is like maybe the same, except they teach you um, more Islamic morals, Islamic principles. My literature teacher, she relates to other stuff, relates to our prophets, relates to Islam, and it not only increases my knowledge on Islam, but it also increases my literature knowledge. She finds a way to correlate those two subjects together. I think for me as a Muslim, Islam encompasses so many aspects of our lives that it always comes up in class. In my experience, I've seen that when you bring students back to God and you bring them back to their relationship with God, that's more effective than any other reward or any other um, incentive you can give them. You know, you're going to pick up that trash in the hallway whether anyone sees you or not because God sees you. And picking up trash from the, from, from the hallway is an act of charity. For MSNBC.com.